my name is Michael Watson, I'm a composer and music producer and I'm teaching you through the Ableton Live manual and today we're going to be talking all about follow actions which you can see in this box down here and I'm going to jump right in. So to get this little launch box, double click on your clip to open this clip view, go to your clip box over here and make sure you click this L to get your launch box. Okay, so follow actions. Follow actions basically determine the behavior of clip launching after this particular clip was played. If I'm busy with this clip over here and I play it, then what happens to this clip after it's done playing is determined by these settings in this box over here. Note that this is different to these launch settings. These launch settings are what happen to this clip when it is triggered and follow actions are things that happen to the clip after it is done playing. This box over here, you see a longish box with a number and then two other little rectangular boxes. This determines how long the clip plays. So typically this is what you're going to see. Its default is one whole bar. But if you only ever want, say, two beats of the clip to be played, then you can just put a two in the middle box. This is beats, this is bars, and this is sub beats. Okay, so this sets the length of the clip. You've got two boxes over here and two numbers underneath. These four boxes go hand in hand. So it's a pity they didn't write it here, but these two boxes on the left are basically launch mode A, and these boxes on the right are launch mode B. And between these two numbers, you see a little colon. Basically, this is talking about a probability that any one of these events is going to occur. So on the left, this is chance A and it's set to 1. And on the right, chance B is set to 0. So this means chance B is never going to happen, which means chance A is always going to be the one that happens. So if I set this follow action to play again, it's a guarantee that the follow action is going to be what's in this left box over here, in which case you can just ignore what's on the right here. But if you want to include an element of randomness into your clip launching, then you can play with these probabilities over here and actually get two different follow actions set up so that some of the time the clip's going to play again and some of the time it's going to play the next clip. You can have a whole lot of fun over here, especially when you're doing sound installations and all of that. And to change the probability, it's literally a ratio. So if I change this 1 to 8, then basically for every 8 times chance B is going to happen, one time chance A is going to happen. So for every 8 times the follow action is next over here, one of the times the clip is going to play again. And you can just change the numbers to what suits you. But um, unless you're very sure you want an element of randomness in your performance, just keep it like this and don't worry about this right tab over here. Okay, so we've got the length of clip playing and then we've got all these different options. So if you've got no action, then your clip is going to play and after two beats, nothing's going to happen. So I just want to note that these settings are clip specific. So just because I set this clip to only play for two beats and then do something, this second clip is going to have different settings. It's clip specific. So if I only want this clip also to play two beats and uh, then stop, then I better set it in the individual clip launch setting. It's not a setting that transfers to all the clips in the track or even all the clips in the set. So just bear that in mind. Okay, so we've got no action, we've got stop, we've got play again, which literally just makes the loop play again as the follow action. So it's going to loop indefinitely unless you've got some other kind of interrupt action. Previous means after this clip, the previous clip in the audio track is going to be played. Next means the next clip in the audio track is going to be played. This first here means the first clip in your group is going to play again. So by group, I mean this track over here, the top clip in the set of clips. Last means the last clip in the group is going to play. Any means any clip is going to launch after your clip's played. And other, it means any other clip in the group is going to play except the clip that has just played will not play again. So with any, you might have a clip playing and it'll choose a random clip in the group and it might choose itself again. And so you'll hear the same clip twice. But if you absolutely do not want to hear the same clip twice, but you still wanted to trigger any other clip in the group, then you need to hit other. So that's it for follow actions. Thanks so much for watching. I'll be posting some creative tips on how to use follow actions in your projects. And after that, we will resume with chapter 14 from the Ableton Live manual next week. Okay, thanks. Bye.